Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Today is Monday, November 9th, and so we have the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. It's the Mother Church. We tend to think of St. Peter's as certainly the Pope presides there and uh, uh, presides and resides in the Vatican. But as Bishop of Rome, the Cathedral Church is this particular church. And I'll read from the Ordo. Today marks the anniversary of the dedication of the Cathedral Church of Rome on land owned by the Laterini family by Pope Sylvester I on the 9th of November in the year 324. Honored as the Episcopal seat of the Pope as Bishop of Rome, according to an inscription which Pope Clement XII who reigned from 1730 to 1740, placed on the facade, this basilica is the mother and head of all churches of Rome and the world. It's the residence of, of the popes from the 4th century until their moving to Avignon in 1309. Site of five ecumenical councils, Pope Innocent X commissioned the present structure in 1646. Beneath its high altar rests the remains of the small wooden table on which, according to tradition, St. Peter celebrated Mass, dedicated to the Savior, later to St. John the Baptist. So the original structure uh, was subject to ruins. Of course, there's a lot of earthquakes that happen in 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 Rome, uh, and other things and other things that happened uh, within the city itself in terms of being plundered. But the existing church was wasn't built until the, as it said, was commissioned in the in the mid 1600s. The hymn that we have for this um, wonderful feast. <clears throat> Christ has made our sure foundation. If you have the single version edition of the, of the breviary, it is hymn number 154. <clears throat> we will do our best to try, and, to try and sing this with a little help. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is made our sure foundation. Christ is head and cornerstone. Chosen of the Lord and precious Binding all the church in one. Holy Zion, help forever. And her confidence alone. To this temple we Yeah. 
as they pray. And your foolish benediction shed in all its pride away. Grant, we pray, to all your people all the grace they ask to gain. What they gain from you forever with the blessed to retain. And hereafter in your glory evermore with you to This is God's dwelling place, and he has made it holy. It will stand forever firm. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. Even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. It cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider <clears throat> the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is God's dwelling place, and he has made it holy. It will stand firm forever. Let us go up with rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, 
there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go up with rejoicing to the house of the Lord. All you his saints, sing out the praises of our God. Alleluia! Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia! Alleluia! Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All you his saints, sing out the praises of our God. I saw a new Jerusalem, the holy city, coming down out of heaven from God, beautiful as a bride prepared to meet her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne cry out, this is God's dwelling among men. He shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and he shall be their God, who is always with them. I saw no temple in the city. The Lord, God the Almighty, is its temple, he and the Lamb. But nothing profane shall enter it nor anyone who is a liar or who has done a detestable act. Only those shall enter whose names are inscribed in the book of the living, kept by the Lamb. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. They will praise you forever. In your house, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. This is God's dwelling place, and he has made it holy. Here we call on his name. For scripture says, There you will find me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, 
the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is God's dwelling place, and he has made it holy. Here we call on his name, for scripture says, There you will find me. Our Savior laid down his life so that all God's scattered children might be gathered together. In our need, we cry out, Remember your church, Lord. Lord Jesus, you built your house upon a rock. Strengthen your church with solid and lasting faith. Remember your church, Lord. Lord Jesus, Blood and water flowed from your side. Give new life to your church through the sacraments of your new and unending covenant. Remember your church, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are in the midst of those who gather in your name. Hear the prayers of your universal church. Remember your church, Lord. Lord Jesus, you prepare a dwelling place in your Father's house for all who love you. Help your church to grow in divine love. Remember your church, Lord. Lord Jesus, you never cast out anyone who comes to you. Open your Father's house to all those who have died. Remember your church, Lord. And gathering our prayers and praises into one. Let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you called your people to be your church. As we gather together in your name, may we love, honor, and follow you to eternal life in the kingdom you promise. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.